Hello and welcome back. Windows 10 changed the game of how updates are delivered. They seem to kind of like want to push them automatically onto you where you're forced to accept them and at most you can kind of like just kind of like delay the restart. However, there are actually techniques where you can, just like we have over here, it's a little bit like the old system where basically it notifies you that updates are available and if you want to download them, and then after that install them, you can do it. Almost like the old system. It'll also give you in the action center over here a notification that updates are ready. Click to install. How do we actually get this? If we see over here, it says some settings are managed by your organization. It works in basically Windows 10 Pro, which I'm hoping most people are going to be having. And at the same time, Windows 10 Enterprise. All you need to do is group edit, okay, gpedit.msc, there we go, click on that, and that'll start up, make sure you're running it as administrator, that's fine, we'll just increase the size, okay, and we'll move that out so we can actually see it so it's basically administrative templates okay windows components and then you can go all the way down you'll see windows update and then configure automatic updates double click on that and you should get this window okay make sure you click enabled and now it's almost similar to what we had in our Windows 7 and Windows 8, where you had a choice of what you want to do. We have chosen two, okay, notify for download and notify for install, which is a little bit nicer, okay? And this gives us the option to download, install at a time when we want, okay? There are other options, okay? Um, auto download and notify for install. Okay, so that downloads first and then notify for install, auto download and scheduled install. Okay, so those are the options over here. Okay, so that's quite nice. Now you just click OK and that'll go through. You will need to either restart your computer or log out and log back in because that's how these group policies work. Okay, if you are really, really, really hardcore and you want to completely disable Windows updates there are a few options but they could backfire we'll just show you some of the choices okay services okay go into services and then scroll down to Windows update okay what you will need to do is stop the service click on stop and then you will need to go into properties and then make sure it's set to disabled. Okay. And then that should ensure that updates don't filter in. Some people have said that that doesn't quite do it. Um, you can go even further and background intelligent transfer service bits. Okay. Stop that and disable that, but that could have side effects. Okay. So this is a harder method. There is also a registry technique, okay, which we should show now. Okay, the other way is to use the registry editor. Okay, so how do we get there? Reg edit, okay, and then click yes. Okay, and it brings up the registry editor. We'll just increase the size of that. Uh, that should disappear in a minute. Okay, now where we want to go, okay, we'll just get rid of that one, current user. Okay, H key, local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Update, and AU. Okay, make sure you have all of these like this. Okay, if you don't, you will have to right click on them and then create a new reg D word. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, and then make sure the setting is to give it this name, that name, that name, etc. Okay, so this should 
solve your Windows update issues. Okay, there is another system whereby once you agree to download them, if you find a certain update has caused some problems, okay, you can obviously uninstall them, okay, um, view your update history, okay, uninstall updates, okay, and then based on the certain update or whatever that was there, okay, you just click on it and then uninstall it, okay. To prevent it from coming back, there is a Microsoft tool that you can use to prevent a certain update from coming back. And we should show that right now. Okay, here it is on the Microsoft website. Um, we should have the link in the video. Okay, in the description and on our website. Okay, it's basically https forward slash forward slash support dot microsoft dot com forward slash en dash us forward slash kb and then it's 307 3930. Okay, what you want to do is go to that web page. Okay, and then download it. There we go. Save it. Okay. And then open it. Okay. And then click next. And then after it searches for the updates on the computer that we want, okay, we can basically click the ones that we don't want. Okay, so that'll hide it and prevent that from running again, for example. What you would have done, you've uninstalled it, okay, and then it won't come back in the list. Okay, click next. Hopefully, this has helped. Thank you for watching.